All right, welcome everyone. So let us continue our exploration of eigenvalues and eigenvectors and eigenspaces for matrices. So let's take a look at a larger three by three matrix A. So the first column of matrix A is two minus one minus one. The second column is zero, three, one. And the third column is zero, one, three. And we want to find a basis for the eigenspace corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda equals 2. So recall that lambda equals 2 means we would want to set up an equation where we're looking at the matrix A minus 2i times some vector x is equal to the zero vector. So let's first write out what this matrix A minus 2i would look like. And again, the reason why we have 2 over here is we're told that lambda equals 2 is an eigenvalue of this matrix. So here's matrix A. We're going to subtract 2 times the 3 by 3 identity matrix, which is equivalent to subtracting 2 from each diagonal entry along the matrix A. So we get a 0. This changes to 3 minus 2 gives us 1. And over here, 3 minus 2 gives us 1. So the matrix A minus 2i has a top row of all zeros, and then the second and third rows are the same. They're minus 1, 1, 1. So we want to go ahead now and solve this homogeneous equation, A minus 2i times some vector x is equal to the zero vector. And because we're told lambda equals 2 is an eigenvalue, there should be a non-trivial solution to this equation. And we can see that from this matrix, we can set up an augmented matrix for this homogeneous equation. Just added a, a last column of zeros. And the row operations are pretty basic on this matrix. We can show that it's row equivalent to the uh, reduced row echelon form um, matrix, which has top row 1, minus 1, minus 1, 0. And then the next two rows are all zeros. So we can see we have a pivot column here. x2 is a free variable, and x3 is a free variable. So therefore, when we want to write out the eigenspace, we want to describe the set of solutions to this equation. So taking the information from this augmented matrix, we can see that as long as x1 is equal to x2 plus x3, we'll get a solution to this equation. So x2 is free and x3 is free. So we can rewrite this solution set as the set spanned by the vector 1, 1, 0. That comes from x2, x2, no x2 over here and the vector 1, 0, 1, and that comes from x3 here, nothing here, and x3 over here. So a basis for the eigenspace corresponding to the eigenvector lambda equals 2. In this case, this basis um, has dimension 2. It's spanned by two vectors that we get from solving the matrix equation a minus 2ix is equal to 0. Okay, so let's take a look at the corresponding picture that we have in Rn with these eigenvalues and eigenspaces. So let's first go back to the 2 by 2 case that we looked at. So we had a matrix A, that first column was 0, minus 4, and the second column was minus 2, 2. And we have found so far that there are two eigenvalues for this matrix, uh, lambda equals 4 and lambda equals minus 2. And the eigenspace for lambda equals 4, we found, is the space that is um, spanned by the vector minus 1, 2. And a basis for the eigenvalue, uh, for the eigenspace corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda equals minus 2, that basis contains one element, so we can write that as the span of, of the vector 1, 1. So down below, we can see what's happening. So I have drawn in blue the eigenspace corresponding to the eigenvalue minus 2. And so if we pick some vector that sits on this line, this eigenspace, 
right? This is a subspace of R2. Notice it's a line through the origin that what multiplication by matrix A is going to do, it's equivalent to multiplying by minus 2. So it's going to take this vector that we have right here, and it's going to map it down to this vector over here. So it's going to switch the direction and make it twice as long. And um, similar story for the other eigenspace, we have the vector, um, it's spanned by the vector minus one, two. So I've drawn that subspace in red. And so for this subspace, what we can see is if we take a vector on this line and we multiply it by the matrix A, that's gonna be equivalent to making this vector four times as large. So it's gonna act as multiplication by the scalar four. So in other words, any vector that starts on this red line, when we multiply by the matrix A, it's gonna remain on this red line. It might be longer, it might change directions, but it's gonna still have the same slope. And the same for the eigenspace for lambda two. Any vector that starts on this blue line, if we multiply it by matrix A, we are gonna wind up with another vector on this blue line. And let's take a look at the picture for the other example that we looked at where we had uh, matrix A was a three by three matrix. And that had uh, first column two minus one minus one. The second column was zero, three, one. And the third column was zero, one minus three. And um, we were told that lambda equals two is an eigenvalue. And we found out that the a basis for the eigenspace of lambda equals two um, consists of two vectors, one of which is one, one, zero, and another is one, zero, one. And so the picture here is we can look at the space spanned by these two vectors. So in the case, um, the previous case, our bases consisted of one vector and the span of one vector is gonna be a line. When we have a basis that is spanned by two vectors, that's going to set up a subspace, right, that has dimension 2. So that's going to be a plane in R3 that contains the origin. And that's what's written down here. So here we have the plane in R3 that's spanned by these two vectors. And so if I pick any vector in this plane and I multiply matrix A times that vector in this plane, we're going to wind up with another vector in this plane that's twice as long. So any vector that sits in this plane is gonna wind up in this plane. So when we multiply matrix A by, by this plane, it's gonna map it back onto this plane. So under the map that we get defined by matrix A, which is a map from R3 into R3, what we can see is that this plane is not gonna move anywhere, that this plane is gonna get mapped back to itself. And what's happening is it's, getting scaled by a factor of two. Each vector in this plane gets rescaled by a factor of two.